Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia, I'm a so crafty teacher. Today I am going to show you some craft room organization and I'm also going to give you a tour. First thing I'm going to start with is how I organize my fabric. So all of my fabric really organized, some by color, some by fabric type. So I have my orange and my yellows, my red, my fun colors, pink and purple, uh, my solid colors. And over here are a lot of my knits. So I use this mostly if I'm making a clothing item. Um, or if I'm making baby blankets and then I have more fabric here and everything over here is two more yards um, this is a little bit more than a yard and a half to two yards and so those are the fabrics that are hard to fold that they need to be rolled so this is my this is how I sort my fabric. Use a lot of this for applique in here. And then I have these. Here I have towels and other items that I need. And also too, if I end up buying any more fabric, I'll um, use these as well. I just added these to the top because if you have seen my previous video, um, my bins, my fabric was in my bins and something about having them out makes me want to craft more, do more, and also keeps me from buying the same thing over and over. So here is, I have my uh, fat quarters down here and then scraps. I always go to my scraps if I don't need um, the full two yards or I need to pull things from the fabric. And this is just a bin of things that I have made. So baby blanket, keep all of my mighty hoops in here. So I have the five by five, um, the seven by seven, the eight by nine and the eight by 13. Here's my little model right here. Um, she's in a couple of my videos. And I use them, I take pictures of baby items because baby items sell more when there's a baby. And I use this sweet little girl here. I use these wicker drawers to organize um, girls' long sleeve, infant gowns, um, little cubby animals that I sell. And, and then also I have shirt samples down here. So anything that I need to get to, or I need to look for, um, it's going to be easy for me just to go in and grab what I need because it's all labeled. And I know over here is going to be all kids, children related. And I will show you where my other blanks are. So this is under my large craft table that I'm so excited about. I got about two weeks ago. Um, I keep a lot of my adult small shirts adult medium shirts, large shirts, and then I also have just sublimation blanks. So flags, bags, masks, 
and everything's labeled so I don't have to try to I don't have to guess what I have so I have those and then I have a little foldable iron I also have these bins I recently uh, cleared some of these out but you can see screen print transfers I got some uh, Minnie Mouse and just other screen print transfers and just a little storage for things that I have. So these are the 12 by 14 drawer, I believe. And on top, I use these little, um, these are used when I do sublimation on adult shirts. I just put that in between. And I'm not having to worry about trying to fit paper inside or uh, mess up my line design. So I got these off Amazon. This is what I use these clear bins, three drawer bins, or I use the four tower, the four drawer uh, wicker tower bins. So I say that my hats, my mini bows, backpacks, more hats, backpacks, backpacks, backpacks. I do sell a lot of backpacks for children and adults all through the year. And here is all of my adult shirts. If it's sublimation, is goes in here but I have my adult large and my adult large is I have two here so there's adult small medium large so there's double each so I have four of these uh, white wicker towers um, I got them and got these from Amazon you can get them Amazon or Walmart this is where I keep my fabric for my blankets so I got more minky dot fabric and I have flannel, uh, the flannel cotton fabric. So I have fabric in here and there's also more colors below. So if I make it a, a lovey or a blanket, I would just pull from here. Again, these clear drawers, Walmart, Amazon, Target. And I will have a link to all of these things that I, below if I can find the link. Um, so I have sweatshirts, hoodies, more hoodies. And these are just the overflow of adult blanks and bows and things that I don't need immediately. So if I need to replace, so this is another bin. Um, I store all of my threads. It is so easy for me to get to because I have them all labeled. I just love everything labeled. Um, so every single color, I have two of these rolling cart drawers. Some of the colors have two drawers because I have a lot of that or I use a lot of it. So. All of these are my threads. These all, this is all for threads. Here is my infamous shipping station. I love this station. Shout out to the students that gave me a gift card. So I was able to make this happen last year. And so in my shipping station, I have all of my thank you stickers, my do not bend stickers, my pens, anything I need, uh, productive, effective, and I have everything in one place. So by my shipping station, I do have a lot of uh, motivational things. Back to my shipping station. My shipping station, this is where I keep all my bubble mailers, um, my lint brush and tape. I keep these, I put my, um, I put shirts in here um, that I use the HTV or I embroidered with uh, applique mainly just any shirts that fit in here just for extra security and these are my order sleeves so anytime i have an order i'll put them here and i'll grab from there and i'll show you where my order sleeves go um, this is for if i have um, some larger items so i use this bin this bin and that bin when i have larger orders so i use this bin and this bin and that bin when i have my larger orders uh, adult shirts because I do adults, children, babies, just about everything. Okay, at the bottom in my shipping station, I did double this as my station for all my props. So, props for when I take pictures. So every bin is every bin is themed. So this is kind of the summer and school bin. I use these when I take pictures when I make new samples for my shop. Then I have Halloween, I have Thanksgiving, pretty much all the major holidays and all the major celebrations um, here in the US. 
and then I have a couple other things too in here. This is like a basket, but I use that for a prop. Um, and then here are my cups. I can show you some more detail here. What's in my cups? These are pins. I have scissors. I have little nippers in here in case I need to. You know, there's a thread that I miss. Pencil, scissors. Um, I have confetti based on, like I have 4th of July items. I use that as my confetti. Um, this is Valentine's Day. I use this as confetti. And anything that I need to, if I need to sign or um, write thank you on a, a packing sheet or a packing label, I use my little, I either use the pins or I use my little Sharpies. Or I use my little felt pens. Okay, my shipping area. This is my little spotlight on my shipping area. Um, and kids' birthday shirts, I always put confetti in the bag. So it's always things birthday, Halloween, uh, Christmas. There's always some type of extra um, excitement going on in the packaging. And then I do have a video on my shipping station. But anytime I get an order, I put the item and fabric and everything here, um, along with directions, shipping labels, packing labels, and I put all of that in here. And then I put them right here to be completed. And this is just a, like a mail sorter, letter sorter you can use for your office. And then here's all of my things I use for shipping. So like I say, everything's labeled. I don't have to guess what's in the drawer. I don't have to try to look for it. It's labeled, thank you bags, girl Polly Miller's large clear shipping bags, extra insert bags, nine by 12 shipping bags, birthday inserts, more birthday inserts, adult inserts. Also, I have some six by nine bubble mailers. Um, thank you stickers, six by nine. Other six by nine ship, shipping bags, boys Polly Miller's, and then I have large Polly Miller's for backpack. And then for my local orders, I do have the, those are thank you bags. This is where I keep all of my stabilizer. I use uh, cutaway 10 by 12 stabilizer the most. Um, I have tearaway and I have tearaway stabilizer 12 by 12. I keep all my water soluble stabilizer, tearaway, the, my big rose, they're all kept in here. Got this cute little basket for 450 at Target. And then I have some additional rose here that I use. I have my laptop PC and behind it is the cap frame and driver that goes with it. This laptop PC goes with my brother embroidery professional. It's an older machine. So I'm able to send all of my files here. And this is my hoop master when I do on my left chest. And I also have the freestyle stand where I'm able to hoop uh, many other items. And then also in between, <laughs> here is where I store all of my, I have Durky, the Durky um, frames, I have fast frames, I have the traditional frames, and then up there I have the Mighty Hoop frames. Under my third machine, my brother, Tin Needle. This is where I keep a lot of my tools in the drawer or my little snowman stickers for centering. I also keep all of my um, bobbins. So I have white, I have black, and then right there I have additional needles. So bobbin and additional tools. So here are my other baskets I got from Target, the little weed baskets. Um, like I said, they were at $4.50. They had this design on sale and I liked it and I got it. And so in this basket, I have my air duster two of those to clean out uh, my machines. I also have the VLR to, I can remove any vinyl. I have like 505 spray, uh, fusible adhesive. I have tempo spray. I do have a bin of my tools and screws and things that came with it. I have placement stickers, a roll of those. Uh, another measurement ruler that came with my hoop master. 
and also additional bobbins that I will replace once I get low on here. So that goes in that bin. And this one is just another hat hoop, uh, cap, and then stand driver that goes specifically with the 10 needle machine. So that's stored in that basket. And again, that's the table that came with the 10 needle and I store all of my other arms and frames and things over here to the right. Also for each, each inverting machine, every there's a little basket or a cup beside it. I have my oil pans. I do have a first aid kit because sometimes accidents happen. Um, I have a little bubble clean out any lint. Um, there's screws. Uh, I have my little oil pen for each one for each one of these. I have my little threader. And then more brushes for cleaning and another oil pen and another threader. This is what I have over here in my embroidery area. So my newest addition to my office is this table that I got from Ikea. Oh my goodness. And then look, I have, it's tall enough I have storage, but it's not too tall where, um, because I'm 5'3", but I'm able to use this table. So there's nine legs. These are called the oval legs where you're able to adjust them. If you get the basic legs, um, my table will probably be about here, but I needed one that I can cut that I can use to cut fabric and work it, and that was um, easy for me to work. So I got storage, all of my rulers and cutters and grids are under here, and they're all stored here, just sitting on top of this bin. But look at this table. Like this table, my Kia, I think it was 78 by 23. And my husband just took it and um, he joined the two parts of the table with legs I ordered from Ikea. Came in about a couple weeks. And you can see, well, it's a few inches off on that side, but this was the previous size of my table. And I have the additional, and my table was this width. And I have the additional space here. So absolutely love this table. And it's right there by my fabric. It's right there by my machines. Just everything is uh, intentionally placed so that I can use it more easily and effectively. And here's my iron where I need to iron on applique. So that's strictly for my applique or litter vinyl. And then I keep all of my tools organized here. Here's my little pop-up stand I got from Mr. Print. I got some stickers, pens, all kinds of things. The other thing is my, this little spinning organizer came from Michael's. Um, I put all of my cutters in here, my scissors, my tweezers, uh, my pens, pretty much everything I need to get the job done, especially working with fabric. Um, and things like that. So this is mainly area for fabric and um, my work table for like hooping shirts and things like that. And I absolutely love this table. It is huge. Here's where I keep um, my other adult and children blanks. They all are labeled. Like I said, I don't have to guess. I try to do inventory um, every week and a half to two weeks. I try to check to see if I have a, all the right things. These are like additional supplies here. And these are some things that I've added. Um, they just overflow. So there's no labels on those. Like regular shirts, boy shirts, body suits, all of this. This is my, this is an Ikea Calyx Cube. It's a four by four, so there's 16 bins. And I got these bins from Walmart. Again, I love fun sayings. So do more makes you happy, be a peacemaker, eat, sleep. So repeat, 
And then I have Sharpen, Sharpen is my cardio. And this is my happy place. And here is my TV. I'm gonna let my husband put this up. He's done a lot in here. And you can, I love it that it can be moved or you can bring it out more. And I believe it's a maybe 36 inch, 42 inch TV. It's my Bluetooth. I listen to music. I just wanna listen to music. A lot of times I don't even have a TV on. I just kind of my little Bluetooth here, connect my phone. I can listen to audiobook, I can listen to podcasts, and I just play it from there, so I don't have to worry about trying to keep up with a phone, just let it play. So this is my area before I store my blanks. I think I need. This is my heat press storage area. So over here, you're going to see a lot of things that I use. Um, all around and this is my 16 by 20 signature uh heat press and then this is my caesar uh 15 by 15 my hat press i do have a swing away and i do have a mug press so here's this area and i'll tell you what i have over here that's where i keep my adhesive volume all of my different colors and then here are my rolls. Keep this in for the, this is transfer. Um, this is to transfer the adhesive vinyl. And these are uh, small rolls of glitter vinyl that I purchased from a local shop, as well as um, the blue fingers tape. In this bin, I have my gloves that I use for uh, when I do my sublimation, it's also used for mask when I do the sublimation. So I just put the string to the mask and I add the design to the top and then it's held right there. The Teflon sheet I use for heat pressing uh, when I add heat and bond to fabric for applique. So I only use that one for this. Um, also, in here, I have my small pressing pillows. So I have different ones, different sizes. And this is my cradle that I use. This cradle right here is when I put vinyl in cups. And I bought this from JC Blanks probably six years ago. And I love it because it keeps it stable and it keeps it in place while I put vinyl in the cup. And then I also keep a template of what size to cut my uh, my uh, cover stitch for the mask that I make. Okay, so that's what's in there. A lot of heat related products and tools to help me. This is my 9x12 swing away. This is why I take this 9x12 when I'm um, I've done parties, I've done different things. Um, so I take this with me because it's easy to carry. It's easy to take with you to travel. And here I have my, got some more adhesive spray that I have over here. Um, this is more the transfer tape for vinyl. I use these for socks or sleeves when I add in sublimation or design, it just helps. And then my tools, I have a basket of tools and then uh, another lens for my Canon camera. So that's kept in that basket. Got that basket from Target. These came from Target as well. And then here's another area. So in this basket, I keep close. Um, if there's any issues, I, um, I have, <laughs> soap that i use i have a spray water bottle that i use if um, there's some heat marks you know from the press or the hoop burns i have these scissors i use to cut any of my um heating bond or cover stitch i have fabric markers for any accidents additional teflon sheet um i also have some hand sanitizer 
and gotta have some tie to go pins in case there's a mistake or you know i have you know wear makeup every once in a while you know you can get on there it happens and then there's some additional heat tape so here i have a about the bolt of heat and bond and i also buy the bolt of a tender touch or cover stitch when i'm doing children's clothes and heat and bond is used for um, applique i use heat and bond life applique and then like the heat and bond the heavy one is used more for patches and things like that that has a lot of stitching this basket has all of my sublimation mugs so i keep all of my sublimation mugs in here it's right beside my sublimation mug press and then here is a, another basket this one's a little longer basket for my long items this is a pressing pillow for sleeves or legs this is my butcher paper i use um, when i am doing sublimation and then i have a box of the butcher paper i'm able to tear it off and then just just additional um tenor touch that i've used and then over here is more vinyl this is embroidery vinyl so all these are used for embroidery only you don't need to add any heating bond to the back of these different colors and then down here is more cohesive vinyl so i have them all separated by colors so embroidery vinyl and these two and then adhesive vinyl um, separated by colors and up here i have my heat tape that i use just about every station has a cutting mat if i need to pull it out so this is a 36 by 24 cutting mat so i also keep storage of all my patterns all my patterns are kept in this big portfolio so anything i need to use um i use a lot of the patterns from Elliot mac I do have a link down below if you are interested. The patterns are amazing. And so I just take that and I put it right there. I take it and I put it right here. Of course I have a trash can. I have trash cans at every station and more lights. So this is where I store my HTV scraps and my fabric scraps, and a lot of them do have heat and bond on them, so it's additional. Um, this is fabric scraps, all of this. So these four drawers, it's labeled here, but all of these are fabric scraps. I have litter vinyl scraps, more glitter vinyl scraps, uh, adhesive, not adhesive. <laughs> I have HTV, HTV scraps, keep your scraps, and then um, a large drawer of adhesive. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to sort them by color, so I use that last drawer and it's labeled adhesive scraps. So I do have scraps and then the other colors that did not have their own drawer um, over here or over here. This is my final station. Believe it or not, something else is about to be added over here in my final station. I do have five silhouette cameos and a brother scan and cut and two sublimation machines. So all my things are here. So I'm showing you this area and then I'll get into more. And then I have a seat just about, there's a chair or something everywhere I am. This is where I store all of my vinyl. I need just the shoe storage cubbies. And, you know, Amazon, Walmart, um, Target, Home Depot, Lowe's. Now sorted by, these are um, the pattern vinyl here and glitter vinyl. Now sorted by colors. And I just roll them and put clear um, tape on them. I have my little tape dispenser there. I keep, and I keep my longer rolls of vinyl up here. So here is a look at my Epson uh, sublimation, cameo, silhouette, silhouette. And now I have 
this is where I keep all my mats. I just slide them right here so I can just reach them quickly. You know, like I said, I want everything to be um, accessible based on where I am. So I'll have my mats in here. And this is where I cut, this, this is where I cut my vinyl. Smells so crafty, teacher. This is where I cut my vinyl here. I got my Yes Girl Yes. So this is a, this mat is 34 by 34 by 23, or 35 by 23. That's about a yard. And then over here, everything's labeled. And it might seem like, well, you can put it back without having the label, but all my little vinyl pictures are here. I like to have everything labeled. My seam rippers, or this is why I also catch my vinyl um, things. I mean, this is like my vinyl pieces I wear when I'm weeding. Rulers, markers, pens, um, and I keep scissors and rotary cutters here. So I only use this for vinyl. And then this is my adhesive tool, my little scrapers um, that I use for vinyl, the adhesive vinyl, and just extra things that I might need, cutters, other things. My tape dispenser, and of course, Boss Lady. So that's what I have over here in this area. And this is also a um, light pad so that you can see easily when weeding, especially when you're doing like glitter or really light vinyl. And over here is my brother's skin cut. Um, it is an older version, but it works just the same. My first cameo, the silhouette cameo too. This is my first one. My first sublimation machine, Sawgrass um, SG400. And then that's the, and that's the silhouette cameo three. And at the bottom, I keep additional inks, sublimation. And then I also have the easy subly paper. And on the side, I keep all of my sublimation paper um, for my, larger Epsom printer. Over here is my command station. Um, I put all of, yes, those are my college degrees on the wall. Um, this is my board I use monthly, things I need to pin or I need to remember I pin to the little board. Um, I use a screen. I use this computer over here to print out orders, design, um, pretty much anything I need to do related to my business. And these are drawers for, um, I keep additional cords, additional things for shipping, um, have a drawer sp specifically for receipts. There's my printer, there's another cutting mat if I need it. I don't have to go across the room, it's right there available. And this is pretty much where I print out my labels and weigh my items. And this space is clear just for that. I use smart weight. I just move it. I just move it. I think I can move this out. And then I can weigh. It goes off. And I use Rollo printer. Here's my Rollo printer. And here is my carousel of pens, markers, and things I need to use. I also have USB uh, hubs back here to charge up my camera, batteries, and things like that. And uh, tools I use when I'm going live. I mostly use my AirPods now. And so that is this area. And over here are two mannequins that I have. This is my first dress I ever sewn, so it's not perfect, but definitely proud of it. And I keep, I keep it here to motivate me. First time I try, I was able to do it. And then I have this mannequin for children's clothes. This is for adults, adult clothes too, and I need to take pictures. Okay. And then I do have the plastic mannequins here. The plastic mannequin here with the children's clothes. Be able to see all this three 
and they all different sizes. My last area in my craft workroom studio is one of my favorite areas. Um, besides over there, love my embroidery machines, is sewing. I love to sew. This is my table for ironing or um, piecing clothing together so that I can sew, uh, piecing parts together so that I can sew um, or use with my serger. I had this table, it's been my classroom, my fart found it at a bargain hunt years and years ago. And so I don't use this anymore. I use like all wooden furniture. And so found a table pad that's pretty much exactly the length and width of this table. So if I need, when I'm piecing things together um, so that I can sew them together. Here I have my, my iron here that I use um, if I need to, if I'm ironing like seams and, and things like that, or I need to, you know, iron the folds or creases. Have my little snippers. Also have my little case of, when I make some, I add my tags. I have more needles, seam rippers, rulers, pan for when I, I'm threading items through, like through a skirt, threading elastic, more pins, tweezers, so those all go in here. I just keep them right here. And this is a little tower cart um, that I used to have. Other side room, but I've repurposed it for something else. Okay, so well now I cut on this table. And then once I cut, I assemble all of my pieces and my parts I need to sew together here, what I need to iron, things like that. This is my baby lock. Brilliant, my uh, computerized one. And this is my cover stitch, brother cover stitch. This is my brother serger. I would say I use this the most. This is my brother industrial straight, straight stitch only machine. Does about 1500 stitches per minute. So making blankets or if I am uh, tutus or anything, um, I have strictly straight stitch. I don't have to worry about changing any features. It's perfect. And I have this cute little mat that says Good Vibes. I actually got this from Big Lots. And I got it so that my chair can move easily. So, and I love it. I can sit here and turn here. If I need to iron, turn here. If I need to use this one, turn here. If I need him, turn here. If I need a surge, and slide down here. If I need only my straight stitch. So, this is my sewing area. That is all for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you learned some organization tips. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, enjoyed the tour. Um, please leave a comment down below if you have any questions about anything you saw in this video. Um, I'm gonna try to leave a link to just about um, everything that I have and that I have in my office. And you'll, have, you'll see that under my Amazon shop. Click on that link, look for things in my studio. So look for that and I'll have that ready for you. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, tell someone about the So Crafty Teacher, and I'll catch you in my next video. Ciao, Crafty Scholars.